everyone, so today I wanted to do a video just sharing with you a quick beauty tip, uh, one that has definitely worked for me and has definitely made a difference in my skin. As I mentioned in my October favorites, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below or put an annotation somewhere above my head. But I talked about having dry skin and for a good solid two weeks, my skin was really dry, peeling, even my eyelids as I was blending shadows. I could see flicks of skin just falling off and it was really bad and I knew my skin was in a really bad place and I had to figure out what I was going to do and figure something out fast because I normally, just to kind of tell you guys about my skin type, uh, my skin is very oily and I have been testing a lot of new products lately but I can tell you that using a beauty oil has definitely helped. Now you can buy beauty oils pretty much anywhere and people probably think oh well you're oily what are you doing using a beauty oil well sometimes oily skin people do suffer from dryness it may be something that you might experience from time to time around the nose I'm still experiencing a little dryness around my chin but not so much everywhere else I feel like it's sort of coming back to where it usually is but just because you have oily skin doesn't mean that you won't ever have a patch of dryness it doesn't mean that you know as you get older your skin texture won't change and I've noticed as I'm getting older and I'm getting closer to being 30 I can feel the texture of my skin a little bit different and I'm lately I've been noticing a lot of changes in my skin whether they're temporary or not it's been some changes and so anyways I wanted to kind of just share with you guys a little tip now I've talked about these beauty oils I have the one in particular that I have in my hand here is the rose hip uh, oil and I get these bottles really inexpensive super cheap at like places like Ross uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all those places that like that that sell like high-end things at a really cheap discount because I like discounts, I like sales and I would rather save my money if I can instead of buying something super expensive because beauty oils they're all they all come from the same thing whether it comes from a plant or a fruit it all has to be extracted the same way it doesn't mean that a high-end brand has a better uh, you know process and then a cheaper brand just does it you know by hand or for example you know it's not like that but you know you get the idea I hope <laughs> uh, so beauty oils now the one that I would recommend for oily skin if you're watching you have oily skin I particularly like argano I'm almost out of my jar it's downstairs my son is sleeping I'm not about to go wake him up because he will be very cranky for the rest of the day so if you see these bottles, if you go to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, the Argan Oil has a kind of greenish teal label and then this is the pink one with the rose hip. Uh, but anyways, Argan Oil is what I would recommend for those of oily skin simply because I feel like Argan Oil definitely blends into the skin and gets absorbed pretty quickly. And it doesn't leave that sort of oily cast over the skin where it looks like, okay, do you need blotting paper? Did you swim in some oil this morning? Like what's going on? So I feel like it just absorbs really well and I've used it on other parts of my body. I've used it as cuticle oil, on my hands, on my feet, you know, all over my body. You can do so much with beauty oils. You can mix it in with moisturizers on your face, mix it in with your eye cream, mix it with your foundation, your body creams, and really just bump up that level of moisture. And we are heading into the winter months and if you are in a place that has really cold climate, you might experience some changes in your skin. And a lot of the changes tend to be more dryness lots of patchiness uh, you will notice that maybe your foundation might not go on as easy or might not blend in as well so these are just something that you can do you can definitely take your beauty oil whatever oil of your choice is except for if you're oily I would definitely recommend using argan oil if you're going to be mixing it with foundation this rose hip oil is really great because I use this at night I use it during the daytime and I only use two drops this uh, oil and a lot of oils will come with like a little let me show you a little glass dropper and you just do two drops that's really all you need if you are dry I would say three to five drops if you normally have dry skin but if you're oily I would say two is at the most depending on the oil I feel like rose hip is just a little bit more oily than argan oil and it sits on the skin just a little bit differently I feel like this you can definitely tell if you go too overboard especially just for oily skin now if you're dry you're gonna want to you know take a bath in this <laughs> um, but this is a very simple thing that you can do and it's really inexpensive. I think I paid like $7.99 per bottle and it's a one ounce bottle. It may not seem like a lot, but when you talk about oil using one or two drops, this will last months and months and months. So I would recommend using some oil um, in your foundation. Um, my current foundation right now is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I wear the shade number 125 just in case any of you are wondering. Uh, you can mix it. I, if I would mix oil with my foundation, I would do one or two 
depending on how dry I feel that day with my foundation. But what I like to do with this is also mix it in with my moisturizer and definitely, like I said, take up that level of moisture, especially now in the cold winter months. I live in Colorado, not for long, but I've been living in Colorado for a very long time and I can tell you the winters here are really brutal. When you have the heat on, I can feel my skin is dry, it feels different, the texture is a little bit different, so I definitely have to do a lot of exfoliating and definitely dousing my skin with oil. Let's just put that out there. I, I just really love this technique. Now, if you wanted to do something like this without sort of making a purchase of a product to accommodate that, you can simply use olive oil. You can take one or two tiny little drops of olive oil and just try it out and see what that does for you. I have also taken the oil and just sort of patted it over the areas where I feel like I need it. Right now I'm dealing with um, dryness like right in my chin area, but I have been using this tiny little sample of the Hydrating Primer by Makeup Forever and holy cow, what a freaking difference. And normally I would never buy a hydrating primer because I'm oily. Um, so I've noticed a difference of, with that primer. It, I feel like my foundations is, are not clinging to the dryness. Now if you have dry skin you probably notice how some of your foundations, your powders, concealers, they will cling to dry skin. And if you have normal skin and you get you know a patch of dryness for whatever reason, or if you're oily like me and are experiencing dryness, any foundation, any powder, any concealer will cling to those areas. It's just what's going to happen. There's really not much you can do about it except for exfoliating, really paying attention to the skincare that you're using before applying your foundation. So starting off with a clean face, extremely moisturized skin, especially if you're peeling and dry. Um, I had that happen to me in October and I can tell you that my foundation looked like crap. And I just had to really dial it back with the foundation for a little while and just use minimal amounts. So another, I wanted just to kind of show you a brush that's really sort of changed the game of foundation for me. And that's the Eco Tools Domed Bronzer. I mentioned this in my October favorites as well. This was a product that was recommended to me by a lovely viewer. And it's changed my life as far as the way my foundation goes on. Now, I do have beauty sponges and even a beauty blender. What? I got one of those recently. And I really just adore this. I use this today with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This blends my foundation in like a dream. So if you're looking for a brush to help with the blending, if you just put like a pump of foundation or however much you need, add your little bit of oil. You can use a brush like this one that it doesn't soak up the product and sort of mix it and then kind of buff it in. It's so incredibly soft. It, what I like about this is that it not only buffs in the foundation, but it doesn't lift any sort of dryness, at least in my experience. Now, again, these are just my thoughts, my opinions. It may not work for you, but I feel like this foundation definitely helps um, blend everything in without sort of exaggerating the dryness because as soon as you start blending that skin is starting to kind of uh, come up a little bit. Why? Because when you buff in foundation it's sort of like a micro exfoliation that you're doing to the skin. So invest in a good beauty oil. It doesn't have to be expensive. If you've been with me long enough you know how I feel about oils. Um, you know that I will not spend a lot of money for oils because argan oil is argan oil. Rosehip oil is rosehip oil. People can beg to differ with me, and that's okay. But for me, that's just how I feel. So definitely check out those stores, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, and see what you can find there. You will find all kinds of things, like avocado oil, oh, everything, everything you can think of. You just have to go at the right time. So I hope that if you are experiencing any sort of dryness, temporary or if this if that's what your skin type is I hope that this beauty tip helped you it's definitely helped me and even though I'm oily like I said I would definitely stick to the argan oil for mixing in with foundations and just applying you know with my makeup products um, the rose hip is great you know mix it with my skincare and in the morning or at night I wouldn't necessarily use rose hip in my with my foundation but the argan oil I have and I love it so Anyways, I will leave you guys here. Let me know if you guys try this out, how it works for you. Let me know in the comment section if you have any beauty tips that you want to pass along because that's what we're all here for. We're all here to share beauty tips, share great makeup products, and if you have a tip that could help someone with dry skin or even help me, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little beauty tip, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.